How you going everyone? Corey Baker here. I hope everyone's well and staying safe. Um, I'm here today to talk about Topps cards, but um, I don't know if you remember, but I made about three videos way back about Topps cards. Um, I opened one of these boxes. This is still one of the ones I got, it's still in the package. This is obviously from the first movie. And uh, we did a huge big opening of uh, this one of these booster boxes to get the whole collection. Uh, anyway, I'm here to talk about the Lost World Tops cards today. And what I was thinking about doing, because I actually got these quite a, oh, quite a long time ago, but I never made a video on them. I think it's about time I did. So we're here to talk about the Lost World Tops cards collection here. We've got the whole collection here. And we're gonna have a look at them, and you can pause the videos to uh, to read anything on the cards you want as well. But what I thought we'd do is we're going through them, and and this is really cool. I don't know about you, but um, the Tox card, even the Jurassic one, Jurassic Park ones, there's got a lot of stuff in them that you don't usually see. A lot of like a lot of like promotional pictures and uh, other things like that. Some very uncommon ones that we don't really see anymore. So it's pretty cool to have a look for them. Anyway, we're gonna just go and have a look for each card. This is like the, the title card, if you will. That's the introduction. They're all numbered, so each each card is a number on the top. And what I like about the Lost World ones is that they're really, they've just got that Lost World look. They've got that real retro, kind of colorful 90s uh, coloring on them. You know, this is these are story cards, bits of the story. There we go. There we go. Spotting a Stegosaurus. There we go. And it's really cool. Just quickly. That picture is the same as this. That is the maquette for the Stegosaurus just there. Alright, Sarah and the baby Stego. There we go. And see now we've got another close up of the Stegosaurus baby maquette there. Got running to safety. Real, real weirdly coloured retro Parasaurolophus there. Obviously, we don't have time. This 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 video would go for hours if I read everything, or if we commented on every single thing. So I think it's just easier for me to do this. Just look for them slowly. And if you'd ever wanted to see the whole card collection, you can now see it in this video. Cause I'm. Pretty sure I haven't actually seen another video on YouTube showcasing this collection too much. It's a bit hard. Alright, we got the lassoing and the herbivore. I really love the Lost World. I've, I've got really uh, like just as I've get I get just as nostalgic over the Lost World than I do Jurassic Park. Because they both came out when I was very young. The hunters bagged their prize. It's a maquette picture. The uh, captive Stegosaurus. I really, I'm really digging these uh, maquette pictures on the back of the cards here. I really like them. Okay, with the T Rexes. Oh, here we go. Got I think that's a maquette from the actual first movie, if I'm not mistaken. Played in the biggest game. Oh yeah, this is something I'd love to own. One did come out in auction years ago, and it was like 10 grand or something. 
this is a McCant of the baby T-Rex, which I haven't seen very much of. That's pretty cool though, isn't it? Imagine having that. The cage cooks of Nephis. There's the Compi. Triceratops on the rampage. Man, we got Pachycephalosaurus in the back. Hunter's camp in the flames. In flames. The Compi. Again, loving the loving the colours. Rescuing a baby T-Rex. There's that there's that running maquette of the t of the male they uh, made for the movie. That's a pretty cool maquette as well. First day for the baby t baby Rex ba no big baby. <laughs> there's that maquette of the baby again. Malcolm's greatest fear. Just pause it any, any time. You can read a little bit more about the, the, what's on the back of the card, if you like. Oh, this is a cool one. T-Rex trailer attack. Now, there's some of these aren't actually, like that is actually just a still that they've taken while filming. This is not, this is not a still from the actual movie. Yeah, see that that's it. That is a t that is the T Rex from the first movie, Maquette. That's a Maquette from the first movie. Eddie, eat him alive. Rest in peace, Eddie. Yep, what's this one? Hanging on for dear life. Definitely. Oh, that's a Velociraptor Maquette here coming up. Joint forces were rolling. Deed of war with the compies. Tyrannosaurus close behind. Field of nightmares. Don't go into long grass. I love them. I love these like production photos of the maquettes. I love them. Get to see every angle. This is a really cool card. Look at this one. Hungry for human flesh. With that really cool orange raptor maquette there. It's another really cool picture. Terror in the tall grass. Oh yeah, look at that maquette. Oh, I'd love that. It's really cool looking. Alright, here we go. To the dog to the dinosaur graveyard. I've seen that quite a few times as a production photo. Orange. Quite cool. Jungle Ghost Town. Oh, and then I'm pretty sure that's a maquette picture from the first movie. Raptor on the prowl. Fleeing from the flesh eaters. There's that red orange raptor again. Leaping for her life. Awesome pictures. Hang on, Sarah. You, you get every, you get absolutely every angle on these cards of the original movie maquettes. Uh, what we 
got here? Escape from Isasauna. That's the uh, bigger view of the running wrecks. The kit. San Diego under siege. <laughs> Front end view of that baby T Rex. Okay, so now we've, we've, we've finished the story cards. Now we're all, I don't, I think we're just on the dinosaur cards or something, but here we have a really cool, these are one of my, these are my favorite bit of this, of this collection, is these like Stan Winston studio photographs. As you know, we're moving the camera again, hang on. I've, I've got this, my, this poster, which I absolutely love. And that's a great example of these pictures they took in uh, Stan Winston, all the Stan Winston dinosaurs. Here we have a really nice one of the two T-Rexes and the little baby T-Rex there. Tyrannosaurus Rex family, it says on the bottom. And here we just have another little write-up with a Crash Mercury artwork on the back. Now I think that's what they all are. So here we got another really nice Stan Winston photo of all the compies together. Now these are my, these, this is the cool thing about the old movies. All these production photos, they're all real. A lot of the production photos and like dinosaur photos of the new movie, they're all computer an animated. So that's why I wouldn't probably get Jurassic World cards or anything because they've all got like computer animated um, photos instead. And they, just look, they just don't look as good. Now here's one that like my poster, it's probably taken about around the same time as my poster, but it's a different, little, little bit different. Jungle Predators, really awesome. Now this is a herbivore picture. Now this is, I love this picture. This is really awesome. It's got a big Stegosaurus inside there. Got the Triceratops and the Pachycephalosaurus. Even got the little baby Triceratops they almost put in the first movie there. I love these, this part of the collection here. Here we have a closer look up of the little family of Pachycephalosaurus. There we go. Here we have another close up of the Triceratops. So you just don't see these pictures very often. I love them. Oh, this is a raptor picture. Looking really cool. Hopefully, it's coming up nicely on the camera so it's, you see all the detail. Oh, now this is behind the scenes now. So, got to the behind the scenes part of the collection. Still got quite a bit to go, as you can see there. This actual maquette, the one with photograph, is what I saw on auction a couple, couple years ago. And it was just so expensive, it was about, must have been about 12 grand or 10 grand or something. Oh, little maquette of the baby T-Rex. Be cool if that person came forward so we can have, have a scan of it and then we can get, we can make re uh, remolds of it. So we're gonna have a go, have a look, maybe make some metal kits out of it. That would be pretty cool, like the Horizon models. That's a really nice picture, actually. Concept art. Oh, now here we have, now this is, we got to another point of the collection, now where we switch kind of themes. This is just some really wacky retro stylization. That, what I love about the second movie. So just like kind of, Baby sticker there. Parasaurolophus looking pretty wacky with their colours. Don't have anything written on the back. T Rex card. Velociraptor. Maybe Triceratops artwork from the first movie, I think, pretty sure. Awesome. I brought that back. It's 
cool that we get to see it still. But like, a lot of these pictures are lost on the, from the from the internet. You don't really see them much, so it's really cool to go through these pit, these cards and see them all again. Really wacky pictures. And these these kind of cards are the ones I remember from when I was little. This kind of crazy color is like, you know crazy colors and stuff. Really striking to the eye. Another T-Rex one. Velociraptor one. Okay. Pachycephalosaurus. Calamamus with a random DNA there. So I, I wouldn't mind a Calamamus maquette too, but I don't really know how to get my hands on one. I know they're around. What do we got here? Another Velociraptor one. Face your fears. Face the T Rex. Parasaurolophus. Packing the cat. T Rex, it's a really cool looking one there. Alright, <clears throat> another Velociraptor one. There we go. Oh, that's a really cool one. <laughs> you can really see the green coloration of the male Rex there. Speaking of male Rex, I'm going to get the new male Rex color, uh, color or t the new T Rex, but in the in the green color uh, from Namu Studios. If anyone haven't seen that, that looks really nice, and I'm um, looking forward to pre-ordering that one. I reckon it's going to come around June. Uh, here we have Triceratops. Crash okay. Fury artwork. Stegosaurus. Oh, yeah. Oh, now here's the basic just checklist of the whole thing. Here we have what we just went been through. Now here we have just an extra couple of stickers that came out as well. So these are also part. These are all stickers, but I've <coughs> kept them on the card. There's nothing really in the back. So we've got a Stegosaurus, Parasaurolophus, T-Rex sticker. Really nice stickers, but I don't have any doubles, so I won't be making them, pulling them off. Oh, that looks like a double, but that's just a different sticker from the card. There we go. There we go. Oh, they're the same as the cards that we saw just not, not long ago. There you go. All the stickers there. Pretty much did this. Pretty much made this video just so it's on record and if people are interested to see the collection of cards from the Lost World, you can easily see them and pause the video and have a read if you like as well. So guys, hope you enjoyed the little look at the collection of cards, and I'll catch you next time when I've got something to show you. Still planning on doing a live stream, just working out a few kinks. So it'll be a, it'll be a live stream Q and A, I think. So whoever wants to uh, come and join me for that, let me know. Alright guys, have a nice day, and I'll see you next time.